Um, let's see. Uh, what's been going on? Oh, uh, so I've got in- something interesting to show you. Oh, um, because you like VR, right? Definitely. Um, ooh, name me like the three airplane simulators that you know. No, Ace Combat. Mm-hmm. Um, then there's Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is old as hell. Yep. Um, still goody. Still goody. Um, there's another one I can't remember off the top. There's another flight sim one. I think it's something that my uncle plays, but I can't remember the name off the top of my head. But let me ask you this: Are can you play any of those in VR? Uh, I don't know about the new Ace Combat, and no, I don't think about the Microsoft. You know what? Never mind about the new Ace Combat because I already know the answer to that, which is yes, because I'm a fucking idiot. Oh. But <laughs> but that's more. I find that more arcadey simulation yeah. rather than real world simulation. Um, so I've got something to show you if you want to look it up. It's called DCS World. Hmm, okay. This is a airplane simulation game that has been around since 2008 mm-hmm. and kind of just landed on my YouTube, you know, recommended viewings and stuff and kind of really caught my eye and just kind of grown and grown through the years. And they've added a whole lot more stuff, including VR support. Yeah. Uh, and I was just really blown away by it and you having the big old vr setup and everything you use a lot more than i do uh, i think it'd be something you would probably want to check out and probably have your littlest sister yeah. freak out about so <laughs> Fly um, <the> plane. No! <laughs> so their their latest trailer is called top 10 things you should know about dcs world because this is a military simulation kind of focused on airplanes and whatnot so no, Let's pop it on and check it out. Wait, what year was this at? What year did this come out? It is freaking loud. That's okay. But I'll tell you, the jet sounds, that sounds badass. DCS World is a realistic oh, sandbox absolutely. environment that you can download for free That's from loud. dcs-world.com. <laughs> With wow. the game comes yeah. two free aircraft, that the American TF-51D Mustang, and the yeah. Russian SC-25T 2008. Frogfoot. 2008. Also included is a fully functional mission editor, hundreds now, of air, like sea, and land units, and a vast mission area that okay. encompasses the yeah. Caucasus region and the Black Sea. I don't know how much... You can play in either that is single amazing. or multiplayer yeah. modes. We offer a huge selection of downloadable content or modules in the form of some pay, aircraft, some... maps, and campaigns. Wait, how much is the game itself? Or the simulator? Although DCS uh, World is known for being free. a highly realistic study simulation like you can download with it manuals free. covering hundreds and then, like, of pages, extra stuff is... in-depth training lessons, yeah. Yeah. and six degrees of free and, and, and yeah. applicable cockpits. I it mean, is also designed for ease of but... use, Holy fun, yes. and Yes! If you like, are new look to DCS at that World, cockpit, let's man. go over some frequently asked Dude, questions and show you some I've interesting stuff. I've never seen stuff. a more detailed cockpit Here than Here are the top 10 things you should know about DCS World. Number one, you don't need to know how to fly. <laughs> just to <laughs> crash. <laughs> just, just destroy Number a billion 10, dollar uh, You don't need a HOTA okay. setup to fly. I have to pay for it. <laughs> you may think that you should own a hands-on a throttling <laughs> stick or HOTA <laughs> setup when playing DCS oh, World. Oh, HOTA. Yeah. Although you can Which play with just a mouse and keyboard. Bit. Out of we control, like these at least super enthusiasts build up like entire cockpits more buttons for that thing. And an there we go. That is my thing. I'll but just use a cheap-ass joystick. But a HOTA setup is in no stick. way a requirement Yay. to get the most out of DCS World. <laughs> yeah, this is the 90s. Just use that one. Or no, I just use, you know, DCS supports VR beautifully. I'm not even... You could fly DCS World with pretty like, much all the, cool the popular thing. headsets, like, such as being the able Oculus to Rift, use HTC Vive, Oculus Revive. Windows Mixed Reality, and Pimax. Those suck. It's a highly know about immersive experience, and you will I mean, literally feel like you are like, sitting inside the aircraft, look at that. reaching out and touching the that controls. That is amazing. You, know, that you can even push buttons in the cockpit that. with certain Holy controllers, God. such as Oculus the Touch. light reflection, that's amazing. Yeah. Number eight, Track IR. IR. Track IR lets you look IR around track. the cockpit just by moving your head, and although it doesn't quite match the VR experience, it's much more affordable and comfortable. Is it an essential and part of your setup? VR Not really. <laughs> DCS offers a huge selection of well, internal no, and that. external views oh, using no, mouse and keyboards. Like, I wonder how those IR things work. Number seven, 
multiplayer. Those yes. Old, DCS actually. World Fire is the... incredible online. And Some that's of our what modules I'm even support like, cooperative multiplayer in the same aircraft, oh. such as the Yak-52, Gazelle, L-39, or the F-14, where you can be the pilot and have your buddy operate the weapon system in the back seat. I know somebody that Joining would really your friends like this. Online yeah. to tackle a wide that variety cool, like, of scenarios like is both yeah. challenging and rewarding. Number six, controller oh, setup oh, is a breeze. Shit. You can easily oh, set up your controls from the options menu the controls tab <laughs> or the Each aircraft has its own customized on, and configurable key bindings for access and figure out all my keyboard commands. Like there's a mountain ahead. Number five, Hold up, I'm almost done. Aircraft but it does start. look like it if looks you don't want to learn to and execute complex oh. startup procedures, use auto start to get up flying quickly. You can also start a mission on the ground can or air with all systems up and running. <laughs> However, if hey, you enjoy going playing. through the full startup <laughs> checklist, the choice is yours. I pull my VR gun. Number four, <laughs> free flight mode. You're you can games, quickly sir. jump in oh. and do some free flying <laughs> straight from the main menu <laughs> instant action tab. Select your aircraft and That's one of the cool. many free flight missions, or jump in and create and one yourself. That is pretty damn cool. Yeah. This is. Number three, I'm gonna do oil, the mission. Oil editor. rig landing with an F-16. With our mission editor, you can create your own epic missions and campaigns, either for single or multiplayer use. It is an incredibly yeah. flexible and powerful tool, which allows you it's to like craft too detailed, much this is complex just only scenarios fighters, right? that you can enjoy yeah, only, and share. Only airplane the sky is You can put like ground unit. units and shit like you that. You can also they play need to make one like built this for mission planes, generator. That, this, that, this with this handy feature, you well. can create an unlimited amount of scenarios and missions. Because that will also be fun. Just going on vacation. I just want to fly somewhere. Just a I think few they clicks. Guess, you know, 7, 737. Number two, yeah. does DCS those, uh, World come with maxes, tutorials? You know, Absolutely. Out, All modules crash. for DCS World come with their own in. interactive tutorials, Sorry. instant action That's missions, campaigns, <laughs> and single missions. <laughs> Each interactive tutorial will guide you through the basics wow. with step-by-step -step instructions, voiceovers, and highlighted controls. Tight. We take you through even the most complex procedures I know how detail. the uh, Oculus would work, or either that or the, finally, uh, on Steam. number one, mm -hmm. you are you new to DCS have, like, World? Your finger and flipping DCS switches. World is yeah. the most realistic combat sim available on the market today, and it looks daunting at first Whoa. glance. But we're Dude. also no, focused on giving newcomers at first a smooth glance. learning curve and plenty of options for you to customize your gameplay experience. You can enable unlimited ammo and fuel, simulator. a relaxed flight mode, auto trim, immortal. and even an immortal mode. Oh, DCS so you World can just crash also includes and dozens of not external camera angles and in-game labels the to easily identify targets, threats, and buddies. Yeah, that just reminds me of Afterburner right there. Oh, wow. You're playing Afterburner. DCS World back, is you? an ever-evolving product God, where we continue that is to amazing. expand the number of awesome, aircraft, dude. maps, campaigns, and push the boundaries of graphical fidelity in a flight sim. Oof. Damn right, you better to push that. And it doesn't and even have ray tracing. It still the looks amazing. Yeah, it looks better than Fallout 76. Ouch. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the sky. Thanks. I think, I think uh, 2D games look better than Fallout 76. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, here's, here's the funny thing about this trailer right here gets me more excited wanting to play than fucking Anthem after seeing like its reveal trailer. Yep. Anthem. Like, I mean, that's saying something. This is just a light. Yeah, Anthem came with my video card telling me if I've touched that game yet. Dude, I'd love to see what like this shit would look like with your beats. With your beats. Yeah. I think both of ours could run it probably pretty well. Yeah, but I don't I don't see it. We can download it now. Free to play? That, dude, that's amazing. I know. That, I, that's all I'm like, oh shit, this is definitely for Dale and the VR track. Hmm. So, what do you think? Are you going to give it a go? Yeah, I'm going to give this a go, definitely. You're going gonna, you're gonna to stream it? Uh, That's going to be a little bit difficult streaming it with the VR setup. I got to figure out oh, how to do that. I mean, yeah. I might have it set up so I could play it on both machines, but for the VR, I'm probably just going to do that as a different experience because... I have to get used to. I got to figure out how to stream VR. There's other stuff behind it. I could stream it. People will watch just the game, but there are other ways of doing it where it can be part of the whole experience. True. True, so, true. but you're also gonna have to get a flight ticket. 
Pro. You're gonna have to get an accelerator. You're gonna have to get the altitude adjuster. I'm just gonna use this the, the touch joystick. And then we're gonna have to give you like a whole bunch of cardboard boxes. We're gonna have to build an actual cockpit for to you. infinity and beyond. And then we're gonna get all this saran wrap to make a little actual <laughs> for you. Put you in there. We're gonna stick a little microphone headset in there so we can be like <laughs> control tower to do. You have control to say go go. And you're gonna be like. Okay. You got boogie on the fucking boogie on the fucking boogie on the fucking dog. I haven't taken off yet. And then, oh shit! Huh? I'm oh crashing. shit! I'm, I'm crashing. But you're not moving anywhere. No, my game's crashing. <laughs> I don't understand what you mean. It's... Dale, where'd you go? We we lost him. We lost him, sir. Blue screen of death. <laughs> oh, Dale, when'd you get back in? <laughs> After I rebooted, I came back. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, but that that looks badass. Yeah, yeah. definitely give it a shot. DCS-World.com, free to play. Check it out. Totally awesome. Let us know.